Hello and welcome everyone. We are going to be taking on the next uh, next bit of Atomix's saga. We are going to the deep void. As soon as I turn on music anyway. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and grab the correct Soul Weaver attire. Tomix is guest. And then Aegis as guest too. Now then, we're boarding the ship, and we're going deep, deep into the desert night. Chain, I've gotten a letter from a friend in the trail. Finish whatever you're doing and meet me there. Ah, a trail. Hey, what's up? As you can see, Atria is under siege. The Rose is trying to either capture it or destroy it. I'm not sure. Remind me, why are we going to Atria? And how exactly are we going to get there without the Griff? The letter I've received said that the Atelians can help reinforce the ship's structure, make it more resistant to the void currents. The void has currents? Anyway, I think I have figured out how to get to Atria. We have to get to the Rose Encampment. Okay. Why? <laughs> have a little faith. So, are we good to go? No. I think it will be safer to go after nightfall. We are too easy to spot right now. And I didn't find any caves for us to hide in. We wait here until it gets dark and hope Rose Scouts won't notice us. Can you set up a campfire? Nice and quiet place this. So, know any ghost stories? Ghost stories? Really, Jane? Can't we just wait in silence? Oh, come on! One story before we leave. Eh, alright. Once upon a time, there was a man named Tanislav. He lived in a small village called Morton. He had a wife and a child. The child's name was Roar. Sadly, Roar was suffering from a terrible illness that was slowly killing him. Over the years, Danislav tried multiple methods to cure his son, but everything failed. One day, Danislav heard word that a strange merchant, dressed in a cloak black as night, had come to the village. The stranger asked Tanislav if he could was asked by Tanislav if he could cure his little boy and sold him a parchment. The scroll described a forbidden ritual of liquefying one's life essence into a medicine. After years of fruitless attempts at saving a war, Tanislav was desperate enough to perform the ritual. He sacrificed his wife, however. The medicine made from her life essence was not strong enough to cure the boy. And thus, Tanislav, driven by his insane devotion to saving his son, moved him to a safe place and drew a ritual circle surrounding the entire village and watched from afar as every villager was liquefied into the remedy. He then poured his, the medicine into his son's throat and killed himself in remorse. The boy lived. 
Well, I've got chills. Yeah, the sense is cold at night. No, I mean, from the... Anyway, what happened next? There is the next part, right? Oh yes, there is. The boy, Roi, was the first weaver. All of those villagers became the first elemental spirits. And Roi learned how to, for lack of a better word, use them. He grew up at four children and they were the founding, uh, founders of the four weaving families. Baltail, Pandora, Ova Oiva, Soul Weaving, Chaos Weaving and Soul Smithing. There are many theories about the fourth child, but all of them lead to the same outcome. He or she was the founder of the Mercs. Huh. That's fascinating. I'm sure it is, but we have things to do. Come on. Why did you stop? Can't you hear it? Hear what? Aftash, <sighs> are you alright, Tomix? Oh no, we've been spotted. Alright, try to not get killed. See you. Meet you at the Rose Camp. Meet you at Wait, what do you mean by that? Don't worry. I got this. Tomix! Right. Let's banish them all. Okay, let's summon Fluffy. And now the entire crew is here. Uh, right, I forgot those spots are that. Annihilation. Returning their souls to the threats of which they were once forged. Moving any chance of an afterlife. But also any chance of a fight. And yeah, we learned a bit more about soul weavers and where they come from. And domain. Oh, come on! I call BS. Mm. 
Let's see. Alright, that was the stun that I applied. Whoops. Well then, let's go to Tria. And I think this is the first time we've seen it from afar. It's quite pretty, isn't it? I certainly think so. There you are. Alright, here's the plan. No, 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 no. What the heck was that? I figured they'd try the, uh, a quicker target, so splitting up was a good option. I even defeated a few mana hunters to make your path safer. That's rubbish! They tried to hit the slow moving target fa uh, first. You could try and help me in battles once in a while. Yeah. Okay, okay. We will from now on. Happy? Anyway. The rose the reinforcements are coming. So, here's the plan. I launch myself on the catapult towards Tria. And me? I can't shut my ideas in front of the incoming enemy for us, can I? Come closer. No. What? I'm not moving until you tell me what you're planning. Act like an adult, Jaina. Well. I'm sorry for being skeptical, but I know where this is going. Jaina, for the love of... Just come here. Promise you won't do what I'm thinking you will? I promise. Huh? But you said... I lied. And... You can get the rose sand wrap here. Quite pretty, but uh, not quite as useful as some others. We can sell it though. That's always nice. Also, yes, uh, the new month, because last week, uh, the Friday, was the last of April, which meant that. Uh, not last week, the week before last. Friday was last of April. So they uh, didn't release their new month stuff yet. There's the blue Dala, uh, Dalia, Dalia things, which very pretty. Also quite good, if not as good as some others. They have decent stats and great evil resist, though the uh, the fully upgraded Death Knight has better evil resist, I think. Death Knight arms. Then there is the Tulip that returned. Cloak of the Tulip and the Tulip Skull. Very pretty. And the Lost Star Helm of Destiny and the Lost Star Helm of Doom. Cosmetic items that go with the uh, Lost Star Swords of Destiny and Lost Star Sword of Doom that were created, that are available from May 4th until the next update, which wasn't available last time because they hadn't yet uh, updated. So last week I couldn't show off the Lost Star Sword. However, I will do that if we have time at the end of today's game, because I bought them on my other character. Let's see, now then, there's the Trail. Once we get to the city, we'll find my friend. <laughs> How about a little more warning next time you launch us through the air? then you'd never agree to it. Exactly! I'm still not uh, entirely sure how we're not splattered over the side of the city. Ancient soul-weaving secret. 
Jag är ta. Va? Ah, hej. Det är ta. Jane, this is my friend, Rata. What did you want to tell me, Rata? I found something that you'll need for your ship! I was told that rifting would be too dangerous in the void currents. It's not a rift or anything like that. Well, not what for what you need it for. It's a mineral. Trethril. What Trethril? It's beautiful. Dark with a hint of turquoise. I'm pretty sure we don't need jewelry. <laughs> That's not what it makes. You, if you crush it to dust, it will coat any surface in a thin protective layer. They used to, and they used to use it to protect delicate things they were pulling through the rifts. It should help protect your ship in the void too. Hatta, you're brilliant. Where can we find it? Can we get help to mine it off of it? Well, I think I'm the only one that knows about it. No one seems to have realized that some trithril deposits were came along when the city was moved. If they did, I, I don't think there'd be enough for you. If anyone does say uh, find out, don't say I told you, please. Tell, tell us where to find it, Rata. Your secret will be safe with us. And yes, Trithril. Trithril is the reason this all looks so space like. Oh, right, elementalized watch eyes. And then this attack, and they are all dead. Ooh, a fiend shroom. Nebula. Uh Ooh. Yeah, that does a lot of damage. Uh I love the music in basically everywhere around there. I love this dream space music. Let's see, we don't have to fight these. Eh, who am I kidding? We don't have to, but it's fun. So, remnants from Wargoth's forces. Quite sad, to be honest. They're still here. Domain. And Tomix is still channeling a bit of Aspar. The foe's soul may resist, but the foe's soul is still weak enough to die to only the consequences of that hit. Let's apply this one to the flame dances so that we know that they will all die before they can hit us. 
because we can't always rely on crits and specials activating to save us. Ah, I thought you could go further there, but apparently not. thrill. It used to give one of the best uh, this mission I think it was that used to give one of the best uh, belts in the game. It's not that the belt got nerfed, uh, it's just that the belt isn't the best anymore. Whoa! Those little pieces were nothing! This stuff is gorgeous! We don't need any jewelry, Jaina. Hilarious. Wait, who's that? Hello? No, who could this be? I think we've seen him before. I think. Let's see... A light weakness. Ah, they assume that you bring... Aegis and... Tomix. Ah... Uh, let's see... Slight darkness resist... whatever. Be quiet, stranger. You've entered into our domain now. Elementalized towards eyes again. Uh, let's see. Who's no? But DOT, yes. Because DOTs now again increase. Uh, get increased by the damage by dex damage bonus and while it isn't that relevant for things such as uh, such as what's it called uh, the annihilation debuff because it's 20 points on a 300 damage uh, debuff it's quite a bit more in a uh, 60 to 90, or 70 to 90 damage to be increased this much. Uh, let's see, meditate. Retribution. Um, yeah, concussive strike upon my opponent's very soul. This is soulless, that's the cannot attack. So we don't need to use frozen yet. That comes next turn.
Uh. And my opponent still has not made a move. My spirit is calm and focused. Let me concentrate. That's what I should have done last turn. your calm spirit releases a brilliant focused attack. This stranger is no more. You may be able to heal yourself, to power yourself up, do everything like that. However, you forget your soul is annihilated. Who was that? Whoever it was. He just went into the void through a rift. We should gather as much of this as we can carry, I think. Come on, Tomix. We are almost at the exit. What did I do to deserve this? You. Stop. Uh, no, this, this is ours. You are Chena. You are my master. I am no one's master. This is my prophecy. The Empress has sent me to you. I was told to be here at this time, on this day, to find you, Chena, who saved the world and her, her silver-haired friend with no arms. Snipping tool... This is our introduction to Yashta. Let's see. Okay, that's that. That's that reported. Who saved the world and her silver haired friend with no hands. That does sound like us. I am an Inuel, destined to become a servant of this world's savior and help in their future adventures. I have no servants, I won't have any. I will accept you as a friend, as you wish. Ah, the Atria Dream Helm and the Atria Dream Wings. See, this item blinks. It also looks pretty, but... Ah, no, this is the Atria Dream. A dagger, rod, and edge. All very pretty. Except for this pedal, really. But, uh, not quite relevant to us. Not yet, anyway. Now then. I think... No, Yashta isn't here. Then let's sell the 
dream rod that we have just gotten. And go on into the deep void. Master, what took you so long? Did you take the dress thrill? I, I did, but... But? They took it. Tomix and Jaina took it. So you failed. Is that what you are trying to say? I'm... I'm... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please don't hurt me. You said you wouldn't hurt me if I flew. You said you wouldn't. Shut up! You promised me you'd reverse me. I'm in pain. Please reverse me. I don't want to be a human anymore. Well, I lied. Look at you, White. You're pathetic. Do you see the others complaining? No, because they know their place. I've created you. I've given you a name. And you dare to annoy me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll be good now. I won't disappoint you again. No, you won't. Now, you lot. We're almost there. Don't stay far behind me. Oh, Aspar. Okay, so it damages both MP and HP or its attacks. Except maybe the lasers. Luckily the spikes do more than enough damage. And the decadera. Yeah, the lasers don't do MP damage. This one, however, oh, it gives a DOT, that's what it does. Well then, when we're up against him, we will need to watch out for that one. Alright. And because he is affected by a DOT now, even though the DOT doesn't deal damage to its HP, we deal more damage. As good a reason as I need to always open up with Spike. The lasers are the reach of envy, and spike is spikes. Summon spikes. So descriptive. Blast your enemy and regenerate. So that's why I am usually at full health. <sighs> Why this affected by a thing probably? Nope, just unlucky with the rolls. And of course I get a crit the one time I do not want it. Oh no, a DOT that deals 3 to 
4 damage. Oh no, whatever shall I do? This DOT was a bit more threatening when I didn't have a regenerate as Nithra. A cataract guard. Well, guard, how good are you at guarding things? And now we heal. <laughs> oh no, a TLT that doesn't deal damage. Honestly, the biggest downside of using Aspar is that you just don't know how much damage you will do. And so you can't really plan your attacks. Not that there is much to plan, really. This is it. The Yenengab core. This place looks like it was once inhabited by some ancient civilization, perhaps. Who cares? Let's get started. We have plenty of work to do. Green, secure the area. I don't want any of these void creatures around. Red and blue, help me with the core. Yellow, congratulations, you're promoted. Sooner or later, Tomix and his entourage will get here. I want you to slow them down. Take evil eyes with you. Now then. The Void... The Void is watching us. And... The Void... Is calling us. Let's hope we don't fall too far into it. Let's see... Void ship, board ship... The Navigator. Oh, this will be fun. Uh, back. Back. Soul Weaver. Soul Weaver Attire. Back. Load. Load. Cross. Invite. Aegis. The second guest. Invite Tomix as guest. Heal. And now we are going to speak with our navigator. We're missing one more me a crew member, Jenna. Ooh, they're working on it at the moment. We're almost ready, Jenna. We just need to find one more crew uh, member of our crew. Perhaps the most important one. More important than the captain? Masarek hasn't sailed in the deep void. Neither have I. We need someone to guide us. We need a navigator. Any ideas? No. I'm hoping a visit to the priestess Alicia will help us find someone though. Huh. Hail, priestess. <laughs> Why so formal, Soul Weaver? A friend of Jaina is a friend of mine as well. Elysia, how are you? I am doing well, Jaina. 
Lucidas and I were discussing the possibility of mentoring some young career show. What brings you and your friends to visit? We're building a ship to sail into the deep void. We need a navigator. Hmm. You find the cutter around the edges of the void, but no career show or the cutter has ever dared to venture into the deep void. At least, none that have ever returned. There are rumors, though. Rumors? I just received a new shipment of tea from Karina in Hunter's Paradise. Bah. Hunters. Yes, well, some fellow who has seen better days is at the inn in Hunter's Paradise. He's been ranting about his lost magic and power. How he walked into the void itself until he was imprisoned. It might just be the Muggle and Barry Chills. But it might also be what you're looking for. Well, thank you, Alicia. It's worth checking out. I would hurry, friends, with how Karina was talking. I think your query might be attracting the wrong kind of attention. Ah, Rose attention. Wait, something... something is wrong. What? It looks... normal... like normal creepy woods to me. Uh, let me just quickly look up... Uh, let's see. Okay. Okay, that's that. What? It looks like the normal creepy woods to me. It's too quiet. I can't even send soul threads. Everything is that? No. Things are still alive. Their soul threads have been taken. How, how is that possible? I don't know, but I think we're about to get a closer look. Yeah, for these... You can't see it as clearly as for some of the others, but uh, they're soulless. They're black and white. In gross skill. And in grayscale only. Ba -da -da. Enslave. We know that Aegis is the ultimate bad boss, and as I said, soulless. These furies are normally so full of color. Unfortunate, really. What happens to them? And really, any time of place. It's rather unfortunate what happens to magical creatures nowadays. Well, we're going to Hunter's Paradise. So, the directions were... Ah.
Yeah. Yeah, this should be enough. But yeah, something here happened. And it evolves a man with ego enough to rant about lost power. Who also was powerful enough to do that. Or used to be powerful enough, anyway. But what happened to... The guy we usually see sitting out here. Let's check, shall we? Because... Well, I could not care less about a few of them. Huh. This stump is empty. That's... Sad, to be honest. She can tell you what the future holds. Deep, dark, hole. Let's see. Let's open this chest. Muglinberry cider mug chef. And the staff. And the sword. You can buy these. Mm. If you have enough money. I was the greatest, the greatest! How oh, dare they leave? They will rue the day they deserted me. You! Foul! It's all your fault, you incredibly wool headed lummox! Your moronic machinations of permanent. Ruin me! I was omnipotent! I was the most prodigious mage of all time. And do you? You... You had to destroy it. What? When the wheel of judgment was destroyed, my wish, my destiny was destroyed with it! My magic, my power, my army of chaos weavers, gone! And I ended up back in prison. Studied by the rose until until they concluded I was mortal. But but you're still a chaos weaver, the weakest chaos weaver. Nor isn't fair. It's cruel born planet. Not even the greatest mind in generations can hold an army with the power. Now I'm useless. Trapped in this feeble mortal coil. Doomed to a life of mediocrity! I wouldn't say you're useless. You could come with us. What would you have me do, Soul Weaver? Destroy more priceless artifacts in your quest for redemption? Boring. Jaina has destroyed enough to fill the void. What do you know of the void? What do I know of the void. Its power was nothing. NOTHING compared to my own. 
You might take a stroll. I leapt and flew through the winds of the void. Do you want to go back? Back? <laughs> and how do you propose to get back there, Soul Weaver? On the back of a void dragon? Back one of the more powerful Chaos Weavers for a taste of the edge of the abyss. You'd never make it through. We have a ship. And we need a navigator. <laughs> a ship! Oh, you ignorant fools. Please tell me you have a pirate crew. You want to venture into the depths of the void on a ship crewed by pirates? You've created the most protected uh, ship in all of lore. There's a drift through across that hole. With Soulspin Sail, defended by Gnome Tech. Forget him, Sienna. He's right. He's weak and powerless. Worst of all, he's afraid. Afraid? I fear nothing, Soul Weaver. Not even the spectre of death that awaits you in the deep void. Don't think I don't know what you're doing. You dare to bait me, lure me in like a fish on a hook? Well, come along just to laugh as the wind of the void tear your flesh from your bones. And you'll navigate? Fine! Hmm. Capturing Val didn't go exactly as planned. But it doesn't matter. I still got all the humans. Now then, we saw one of the best characters again. We saw Val. And we can buy this void affected cider. Eh. If we were dumb enough to touch the void. And drink from it, we could end up with things like this. And that, kids, is why Void isn't a good dark to die for. Ah, and there's also the normal Mockenberry Cider stuff. The type of stuff we could buy the weapons from. The Void Cider version is DC only, though. And we get a Cider Keg. Which says, as we prepare to sell it, from Val's personal stash, this will protect you while you get nice and cidery scent. Well then, back to v Aspar's story, and uh, Let's look at the human element. <sighs> this is frustrating. Does this ask away? Give me another one. As you wish. <sighs> another failure. What am I doing wrong? It worked before. Why not now? Green. Red. Tell me what uh, are your human elements like. Caring. Caring. Wise. <laughs> what do you remember the humans have made a year from? Felt during the extraction. Fear. Fear. I need to think. Leave me. Go do whatever you think is like doing. What are you thinking about, Red? What is our purpose? What do you mean? We serve our creator. This is our purpose. Yes, but what if he's, what he's doing is wrong? How can you say that? He is the creator. Everything he is doing is sacred. 
I wouldn't say sacred. Still, he did create us. We must obey him. He ripped essence from living people, left the husks to rot, and gave us life in process by combining the human element with monster soul threats. Our existence is wrong. Doesn't that strike you as a little messed up? No, he's the creator. Obey him. Of course you'd say that. You're the newest. We were longer with him. We know what he's capable of. Green. You've been quiet this whole time. What does your stand on this? I remembered. Huh? I remembered my previous life. I mean, previous life of the person that was used to create me. Why do you bring that up now? He had a daughter that he loved the most in the world since his wife died. Is she an orphan? Or am I your father now? Will she love me? Minions! I think I know how I can su uh, uh, succeed in the extraction and have some fun in the process. Release some of the prisoners and stand aside. No need to secure the exits. They have nowhere to run. A bandit. Two bandits. A fierce town defender. A sword of night. Pity, I had hoped he would survive. And the desert thug. I don't know why I do enjoy this so much. Now, bring me the most terrified human. And let's see if that works. Yes! Finally! Now, green! Give me a monster soul threat! Quickly! Which one? I don't care! Just pick one! She's beautiful! And almost perfect! Red, green. Take... Hmm. Beige. Here, and explain to her what's going on. She will be a valuable asset. Marvelous work, master. I know. Now, it's time to begin phase two. Blue, fetch me the soul threads. Which, which ones, master? The ones labeled Tomix. Those poor, poor souls. And... A soul threat labeled Tomix? That's not good. And we got the honorable mention. Let's uh let's sell our reward for placing last. In the duck hunt competition. I said, oh right, you must be so weird to use. that I am fully healed up. Second cast. And Tomex. And the void ship. <laughs> the void ship snares completion, China. It's time to board. Oh, hello, China. Everyone is helping in the lower deck. Don't be surprised if you won't see a lot of people up here. Uh, 
I'm so hungry. Where's the chef? Did the captain even send for him? This is my cabin. You can set your hometown for the duration of this quest it will be. And Valve's cabin. It's empty though. Or at least we're not allowed access. Can't go up there. Yeah, this is not one of those changing ones. Constantly has a different student working there. We can't set the sail just yet. The gnomes be finishing up the ship's foot drive, as they be calling it. Dear God, that was atrocious. We got this, Cameron. Unfortunately, we can't do these yet. I hope that this comes soon. She has also has a quest required to unlock Riatna's quest. This is a radiant quest. It will just give you the vials of spider venom, which we can use and probably will use, to be honest, in order to create a good, nice scythe. That we can use, but uh, not today. Isaac said, My brother is out and he told me not to let anyone in. <laughs> Thanks, Lon Red. Ah, Yashta. An interesting place and boring. I like to kill time by f defeating creatures in this Pelo Village place. You should try it, master. Ah. And the glowing tree items. <laughs> A weapon crafted by Yashta from Glow Tree Sapling. In Pella Village. It seems he has many talents. And then the cape crafted and the helm crafted. And another radiant quest. Mazarek's mm, cabin. It's closed, of course. She ain't there. It'd be closed. Ah, void glow, void threats. And he has multiple quests. Same as Ryatna. And Bautil's legacy stands empty. Aaron's cabin. Well, he's working on uh, something else at the moment. And Tomix's cabin. Well. Well then. Since we've done everything we can over here. Oh, that's the wrong timeline. This timeline. Let's go do the codex. Because while this one glows, this is the one you need for completing and unlocking Yernangab. I need more shot rats. The process is too slow. Master, I found a way. Finally, some good news. There was a nurse or what looks like an official letter of some sort in one of the books scattered across the library. Well, I assume it was a library. 
It's hard to tell with all these buildings. There's mostly destroyed. Get to the point. The text must have erased. Time must have erased parts of the text, but I've managed to put it together. I thought it was. I assume this uh, note was addressed to this person. The gathering of five will no longer stand your. This is faded. Will be executed based on your actions, and your codex will be taken from you. The rest is unreadable, I'm afraid. I fail to see how this shows me a way to alter the Union God core. The part about the Codex. It piqued my attention, so I've started looking through the rest of the books, trying to find if it was mentioned anywhere. And it was. People who inhabited and most likely built this place were all branded with the Codex. The book does not describe what it looked like, only that it was crucial in attuning to Yin with Yin and Gab. When one person broke the law or defied this gathering of five in any way, their codex was taken from them and stored within the within the temple of Urta. We are inside this very temple. Do I look like I care about the history of this place? Do I? Tell me. No. No, I don't. You could have just told me that the way to modify the car is under this building instead of la yapping about this place, your own law. Please forgive me, Master. <laughs> is Parish ready? She should already be on the ship. Well hidden. Good. Riyadna is my eyes. She'll be my ears. I need to know when they are departing. Gather the others. Let's look for this codex. So. We have two infiltrators. And unfortunately, we can't really do much about either of them. Riyadna doesn't even know she's won. And Bersh hasn't yet joined up with us. Well then, it is quite interesting, the history of this place. Unfortunately, it seems only Green is really interested in it. Green, the wise. 
I wonder if he'll ever see his daughter. That's one explosion of void, really. Ah, and there will come the next one. Arrogant little. Bastard is indeed. And he's not even pride. <laughs> now, pride has a very interesting character design. I'll give her that. She's also a pain to fight. And I haven't even fought her in a long time. Let me put it that way. Yes, that is the first time in a long time that someone not a Minx Fairy uses mana. And as you can see, we are getting closer to the Void Core. Or well, walking around it really. In some ways I'm really quite glad that, that these fights take so long. It allows me to get the healing of twice. What is this? I don't know, Master. I didn't find anything that would describe this being. You. Can you speak? What are you? Betoken me thy name. What? Betoken me thy name. Can you understand him, Green? I think it wants to know your name, Master. Eh? My name is Aspar. Agnes. Are you able to speak in common language? I am. Good. Do you know where I can find the Codex? I am. You are the Codex? Yes. 
Blah blah blah, the gathering of life, blah blah blah, branded with the colonies, blah blah, I'm returning, blah blah, I'm boring. Let me be blunt with you. I need to be branded with the codex in order to alter the Yin and Gap core. I'm acting on behalf of the Gathering of Five. The core is in grave danger and only I can fix it. You are lying. Lying is a crime, punished by death. Pfft, as if I can die. What if I told you the truth? Would you brand me then? Yes. Then let me restate my previous request. I need to be branded with the Codex in order to alter the Yen and Gap core. My dearest friend is going after me. I plan to kill him. If my plan fails, the core will serve as my precaution. Better? You are telling the truth. Truth is singular. I will grant you the Codex. And Tomix is Esper's dearest friend. You're not questioning my motives? You are truthful, therefore you are just. <laughs> I can see why the civilization went next in. Well, I won't complain. Shall we? Espar has found the codex. Nothing can stop him now from altering the core. And we got the Voidling Helm. So yeah! Espar is succeeding in what he wants to do. And that's quite terrifying, if I'm honest. Also, this helmet is really terrifying. <coughs> and we invited it. Aegis. Back, void ship, board ship, yin and gab. It's almost time, Shayna. We should head down below for our crew meeting. Ooh, forgot to heal. Shayna, you're here. Perfect timing. Go on, there. Tell them. The void drive was uh, successfully connected to every part of the ship, They're including. The sails woven by the soul weavers. What about our safety? Trithril coatings is activated, which means the ship should withstand th anything threatening that the void has to offer. So, the on only the ship is safe from harm. What about us? Vs Unity be a sterile lady as long as we stay aboard during the voyage. We'd be fine, love. I beg your pardon? Ryatna, please. Visionity? That's what you call this ship? Everyone, please, there's no time for arguing. Val, did you finish the map? Of course I did. Take a look. We are here. Then the surface area of the void. We need to get to here, to the Yenengap core. In order to do so first, we need to get into the Yenengap, known as the Deep Void. The only way known through here to me is through here, a place that connects Void and Deep Void. Interesting, I didn't know the Void was swearing. It isn't. I've made a spherical on the paper so your simple minds can understand. Now stop interrupting me! As I was saying, the only way through uh, is through here. The tricky... here is where things get tricky. We will have to voyage through a giant whirlpool which will take us to the other side. To the deep void. The area around the whirlpool is extremely dangerous, void with void storms raging left and right. Good thing the ship is a sturdy lady. <laughs> Adorable. Stop interrupting me! Once we are inside the deep void, there is no going back. What? What do you mean? 
It's a one-way vortex, and I suggest creating a portal on board that is linked to Ravenloss. Once you save the day and are ready to go back, we will have to go through the portal and abandon the ship in the Union Gap. No. How do you know it is a one-way fortress? Someone told me. Ooh. It doesn't matter, Yashta. Isaac, will you create and link the portals, just in case? Certainly. Alright then. We're ready to set sail. Not quite. Why? We're not moving. The void drive is operating. Yeah. The void drive is operating. Sales are ready. But we're not moving. And of course, the Val would do that. I don't understand. The void energy should be fueling the sails. Blast it to the void! And there'd be no more end, and there ain't no. Don't be a way to get the paddle in. This, this fit in the ship doesn't work like this. We don't even have our captain. Aye, praise yourself, you build rats. Now I'll be showing you why I be the best pirate. Now, that's what I call a wind. So, I've been meaning to talk to you. Well. Now's as good as time as any. We should get to us par in a meta. No, don't call him that. Call him what he is. We should get to MV in a matter of weeks or months in worst case scenario. Let's say you punish him. What will you do after it? Because I've been thinking you could help me and my friends with the rose. I'm afraid of must reviews. I see. Riyadna has your future planned already, eh? No. No. She's... she's with Isaac now. Oh. I can't choose on you on your quest because... Fight creatures! On board! We'll finish this later. Because... I'm not coming back, Jenna. Oh no. Oh no. Tomix, no. And now they do deal damage. Tomex, now you need to come back. Right? You need to come back, right? And of course they're all immune to... That. Well, let's use water then.
Well then, this one is stronger than the others. Really though, it's negligible. has the same stomach as uh, the void elemental. Just attack, attack, attack. After this fight, I will have to go ahead and drink a mana potion. That one is weak to darkness. You fight well, Soul Weaver Jaina. Phew. I bet you fight great as well. And it's just Jaina. Very well, just Jaina. Well, you'll get it someday. Everyone's safe? Aye. But how did the things get aboard? We may have bigger issues. Look! <laughs> we have t uh, nothing to fear. Trithril coding should be able to repel void storms as well as any damage done to the ship. We just need something to hold on. Oh no. What? What happened? The ship. The void rough. It. It stopped working. Hold on. No. They sabotage the ships. What will happen to our heroes now? And we got an, mm, the Cadera carcass cape. Two problems with that thing, dearie. This ain't the carcass. That thing's still alive. Or a drift. Is everyone alright? I am. We're still checking, Shane. Riyadna. How are things? Uh, bad. Very bad. We have almost 30 people injured and they can't keep up with everything. And they'll last be right. 
Can't find Tani, Mary, and two others. I'd be fair and Debbie Dan and Chavy Jones the locker. We don't know who this yet, Mass. Maybe they're under the deck. Bat news. The voyage drive is functional again, but someone severed every connecting li uh, link that connected it with the ship. I can't repair it. I don't have the proper tools and materials. What do you mean by that? We're stranded. Drift. Floating aimlessly. Oh, avatars. The portals. One here and one in Ravelos. I've linked them, remember? That was the first thing I struck, Isaac. There are no portals. You must have forgotten to make them. What? No, I didn't. I'm positive I conjured them. Well, they're gone. But, but this is impossible, Tomax. I'm 100% sure I conjured them, and if they're gone, someone must have dispelled them. Her. I found her below the deck, unconscious. I don't remember her being on board. Therefore, she must have sabotaged the ship. Why Why would you do such... Who are you? I think my name is Parrish. Hello. Uh, what? Did you do something to our ship? Yes, I was supposed to delay you. You! People died! Might have died because of you! I think I'm sorry. Should I be sorry? <sighs> Comics? What? You must contain yourself. Take a deep breath. Everything will be okay. I need a moment. Jenna, take charge, please. Take charge. Okay. Alright. Yersta, please interrogate the suspect. Masarek, check if we can still set course. Isaac, help Riyadna with the injured crew members. Er, can I do anything? Ages. Uh, how did you get there? Oh, I can be anywhere you are. We're linked. That's how it works. That's fantastic. Can you create a portal that can take us back to Ravenloft? I'm afraid I don't know how to do this. Oh, then uh, how exactly did you get there? Through the element, plane of elemental spirits. And no, I can't transport living people through it. Sorry. I see. Well, if you want to help, okay. Ages. Keep a lookout for anything unusual. Aye aye! Where was I? Ah, Aaron. Hey, update me on the ship's status. Can we fix anything other than the foyer drive? The hull is damaged. We lost most of the sails, most of the food supplies, and some of the people. No, I'll go find Tomix. It's not cutting any better, is it? Well, the ship's pretty damaged, but at least we're not sinking. I'm sorry, I've dragged you all into this mess, when I should have just gone off there and feel alone. First, it isn't your fault. Secondly, we all volunteered. Don't beat yourself up. <laughs> Let's go and see if the Ashta has made any progress with this creature. I was just about to send for you. What have you learned? She was created by someone named Aspar. You didn't tell him? I thought you did. I didn't. <laughs> right, Yashta. Aspar is the big bad we're chasing after. He's in the deep void core, which is our destination. Very well. She was created by him, and her sole purpose was to sabotage the ship. She said that was her only purpose in life. What do you mean? Where is she? She died a couple minutes ago. She dissolved into a liquid. This is bad. Very bad. I didn't know Envy was capable of such a thing. We will get to um, Tomix. We will. Um, excuse me? What's up? We're heading towards a floating island. I thought you might want to know. Aaron. Good news! I see a forest! That means wood. Great! We might be able to repair some of the damage. It's surrounded by some kind of a magic bubble. We'll deal with that when we get there. We need to be able to form 
a scouting team once we uh, get ashore. Who is available? I am. Count me in. Always. Alright, I will go with Jaina. Yashta, you go with Mary. Look for any useful uh, materials and anything edible. May I go too? I'd rather have you on the ship. We don't know what we can expect on this island. You should stay here and protect the crew. No one is better in protecting than you are. Mm. Aegis? Understood! Let's go. <laughs> oh yeah. These things are so ridiculously resistant towards... Oh right, I should probably elementalize towards bacon. Attune to primal bacon. Ba -da -da, ba -da. We found wood. These, however, are weak to darkness. And even weaker to bacon. And we have found some more wood. These ones are resistant, so... Ah! Uh, yeah. Bacon, the antithesis of void. Mostly because both got created from nothing. However, one stayed nothing and the other didn't. Ah, magic healing mushrooms. Do we want to consume this to recover HP? Not yet, after this fight. I think it is after this fight anyway. a nice full heal. Weakness has returned. That means that we can rest easy now and let Fluffy do all the damage. A worshipper here, but of what? Or rather, of whom?
some more wood. Bam, bam, pa, da, da, da. That looks like you can walk there. And domain to take care of it at the last point. Yeah, that looks way too much like you can walk there. Well then, let's take care of these lost enemies. So happy when we don't need to do any fancy maneuvers. Use that attack. We can't carry any more wood. Let's go back to the ship, stash it, and then look for more. Yeah, good idea. We can look out for anything that resembles food on our way back. That's odd. We came from this direction, didn't we? I think so, but I don't see any path. Is the forest changing? Trespassers! It looks like we have company. Kill them! It's finally time for the next sacrifice! Kill them! Kill! And then the enemy was frozen, and so we could deal with the enemy easily.
what's that all about? They, they, they had the mark of punk. Pandora. Well, I know where we are. Where? In my memories. Our heroes found themselves on an island inhabited by worshippers of Pandora. And we got the worshipper mask. Well, I am not quite ready to start wearing such masks. Let's, uh, okay, so they just removed guests. Let's board the ship and uh, let's look at some origins. I know where we are. Where? In my memories. How is that possible? I sealed my memories in the void after my death. I couldn't deal with them. Just like Palo Village was sealed in the void? I believe so. Why does everyone keep sealing things here? This isn't the trash side. It is, in a way. If you sealed off your memories here, does that mean you... Yes, sadly. When you set your foot on this very ground, Tomix, these memories came back to me. And Tomix? Yes. I have something very important to tell you about Asper. I know what it is, Pandora. It is a pretty common knowledge. You were the one who released the seven corrupted elemental spirits. And I don't blame you for that. No. It is something else. Can you see a big tree around here somewhere? That one? Precisely. That is where everything started. I had a house under that tree. A small hut where I unleashed woes upon war. And the place where I died. Knowing that my selfishness would bring sadness to the world. I... I'm sorry these memories came back to you. It's alright. I'm stronger now. Pure. You should head to the big tree. To my house. And learn the truth. I'm sorry to interrupt, but I have a question. Who were those people that attacked us? They had your mark. I know now who they are. Chaos Weavers who worship me because of what I did. They think I release the seven spirits to cleanse the world. But why are they here? This place is from your memories before you died. I don't know, Jaina. Perhaps Chaos Weavers from the Pelo Village found their way here. Okay, guys, this is. Mm, time is not on our side. Let's get to that tree as fast as possible. Hello Village story, yeah, really the entire story, is sad, that's really all that can be said about it, it's so, so sad. 
it is so so sad and unfortunately it looks like we will after this mission stop and uh, then go ahead and deal with and show off the Sora and the lost star sword blades and then next week we might have a quieter stream or a shorter one really because after next week's stream I will need some time to compose myself Or maybe this stream instead will be longer. That is also a possibility. But mm, it depends on how long this quest is, really. Oh no, my first soul resists. Ah, uh, domain. Let's deal with these restructured bandits, retextured bandits. Okay. An altar to the cruel queen in their house. Master was right? Huh? You are here. What the who are you? Someone who's supposed to stall you. Good weakness, evil resistance, light, immobility, and energy. Well then, it's good that I don't deal light damage for once. Uh. Let us begin. I guess the best way would be to seal you. Alright.
afraid this one comes with the really annoying shield. Meditate. Yeah, that's what I feared. <sighs> Bonus to it? Damn it. Right then, let's shield ourselves. Minus 40 to hit. Uh, damn it. It did not get through. Spirit is calmed and focused. And suddenly his mana is gone. Luckily, my nuke did get through. Unfortunately, being targeted by uh, yellow over here is already enough in order to get in to deal an annoying amount of damage. Luckily we managed to get a stun through again. Let's do others do this time and there are two hits in that one. And there was one hit I mean in that one so... And slave. Damn it. That is annoying. And there were my mana. I call on Rocktaro. And while that's going on. Max HP is 1260, max HP of this one is 37, okay so 10% and then we can annihilate. <sighs> now it would have been great if it had been a bit less than that. but. We have to deal with what we have to deal with. Uh. 
Unfortunate. But unavoidable. Really? Calm my mind and body. Freeze my opponent. Uh, minus BTH. Nice. And yeah, unfortunately it looks like we will not get to see the finale this time. Instead we will end on the cliffhangerish node of us having just figured out exactly what the relationship here was. A slight enough feel. Break. And unleash. He dissolved. He must have been one of Envy's creations. This makes sense, just like he created the other six corrupted elemental spirits. He what? I promised you that you would learn the truth here in this house. Look. Mommy and me. Mommy and me? Is that Aspar? Envy is your son? I didn't give birth to him yet. I've made him, so... Yes. Yes, my son. A long time ago, I was a different person. Selfish, narrow-minded, and hungry of power. Out of the three of us, I was the worst of my siblings. After our father disappeared, I remember I had an argument with Baltel and left. I found that the Chaos Weavers were moving from place to place, pillaging villages, destroying towns. We stumbled upon on our way, and then I met my future husband. He was the only one who wasn't afraid of me. He was the only one who was good to me. Pandora? I'm fine. You probably don't want to hear about that. Let me get to the point. I... I could not bear a child. My husband went to fight in war and never came back. The rest of the chaos me you first moved on. I had no one else left. And so, I created Aspar by splitting my soul. I loved him very, very much. He wasn't human. He was a spirit. We moved to my home town, to Morton. Over the years I noticed the look he was giving other children. I knew he was jealous of them. They were laughing, playing with others, eating, smelling, feeling. Once I discovered he killed a few of them, I had to run with him. Back to this cabin. This envy only grew. I... I still loved him. Even when he was ripping my soul apart and creating his own family of spirits. I believe it is my fault that he is the way he is. I created him when I was still angry at life for taking my husband and everything away from me. 
everything that has happened until now, every monstrosity he has done so far, is because I wanted a child. We... we should get back to the ship. Yes, yes we should. You called, Master? Look, Red. Look at me. I'm human. Finally. I can smell. I can... They've got yellow. Their ship is destroyed. How can they be getting closer? This is bad. I'm still in the middle of absorbing the codex. Red, take blue and green and start gathering the vo eight creatures. A lot of them. An army, possibly. I want them delayed. Our heroes go back to the ship, carrying the wood in silence. And we got Pandora's green pendant, a necklace we've taken from Pandora's cabin. Unfortunately. I think that is the end of today's stream, so I will see you all next week, where we conclude the Soul Weaver Saga.